7 part A um, says that given that K can be basically this means any um, positive integer show that the, the integration of this is independent of k. We'll worry about what independent of k means as we start the question or as we get through the question, but let's just start trying to integrate. If we don't know what this means, let's, the best thing to do is just start trying to integrate and see what happens. This is um, in the form of a log integral. It's some sort of one over x graph where this is a linear transformation of x. Anytime we have a linear transformation of x, we can basically do a, a sneaky chain rule backwards. And rather than multiplying by the coefficient of x when we would for differentiation, we're just going to divide by the coefficient of x instead. So we can integrate this straight away. It's going to be 2 times the natural log of 3x minus k divided by 3. That's it. That's between 3k and k. So if we start putting in 3k, if we start putting the values in, we're going to get 2 over 3 natural log of, this is going to be 9k take k, so that's going to be 8k. And when we put k in, we're going to get 2 thirds natural log of 3k take k, so that's 2k. Now we've got 2 thirds here, so if we take that 2 thirds out as a factor, we're going to have natural log of 8k minus the natural log of 2k. Now we've got a log rule that we can use here. We can use our division rule, which says that the natural log of a minus the natural log of b is the same as the natural log of a over b. So I can write this as the natural log of 8k over 2k. The k's cancel, and that gives me 2 thirds of the natural log of 4. And this is independent of k, because there are no k's in the answer. That's all that independent of k means. So, a little conclusion at the end. So, it doesn't matter what k is. Any value of k, this will be the answer. That's all it wants you to say. Okay, for part two, we now need to integrate this one. Very slightly different from the first question. Um, and the major difference is this two here, this squared here. This is only a log when the power here is a 1. Any other power, it's the x to the power of n integration that we're going to be doing. Um, so we're going to bring this up as a negative power. That's the first step. So we've got a 2k and a k. 2 lots of 2x minus k to the negative 2. And we're still going to use the, the transformation rule, which is to pretend this is an x and integrate. So that's going to be 2 lots of 2x minus k to the minus 1 divided by minus 1, but also divided by this coefficient of x. That's between 2k and k. If we simplify that, the 2's cancel, we've got this minus 1 here, so that's 1 over 2x minus k, between 2k and k. So if we substitute the k's in this time, what are we going to get? We're going to get negative, this minus outside, 1 over uh, 4k minus k, minus 1 over 2k minus k, so that's just k. So that's negative 1 over 3k minus 1 over k. Uh, that's the same as 3 over 3k. So we're going to get 1 minus 3 is negative 2. So negative, negative 2 is going to be positive 2 
over 3k. That's proportional. That's the same as saying something, so a times a 1 over, in this case, k. So that is um, proportional to, to 1 over k.